Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. Maybe simple recurring monthly payments don't work for you. If you have complex recurring charges that you wanna set up and allow students to use, you can do that with payment plans. We have a simple payment plans made simple video. If you haven't already seen that one or need a refresher on the basics, you'll find it in the description below, along with a video that goes deeper into payment plan settings. Roles. You'll be able to create payment plans if you have the financial admin role, and you'll be able to add payment plans to students with either the student billing or financial admin roles. Briefly, we should clarify what we mean by recurring payments. These are automatic payments that students opt into. They agree to allow Populi to run their payment information and charge them X amount on a given day. You can set payment plans up to allow students to conform their recurring payments to those plans by going to financial and then under billing here into settings and then onto payment plans. And we'll choose one of the existing ones here. We'll go to that simple payment plan. And then over here on the right, we'll choose edit plan to make these fields editable. This all happens under online right here. Obviously, you need students to opt in to recurring payments, so this enables you to give them options, and then they choose to pay according to one of these plans. Remember, there are three levels at which a payment plan can operate, invoice, term, and student. Payers can only use plans to manage their recurring payments at the term or student level. So the first option here, selectable by payers for the student level for all invoices, means that if we have this checked, payers will be able to use this plan to arrange their payment due dates, and then those dates will control their recurring payments at the student level. So invoices across all terms and even outside of terms end up pulled into this plan. The next option, selectable by payers for the term level, this is invoices tied to a specific term, does the same thing, but at a single term level. Looking at that last setting here, selectable when student billing staff have applied the plan. In some situations, the financial team at a school doesn't want to allow students to choose plans from a list. There needs to be some gatekeeping for this payment plan for whatever reason, but they still want students to be able to conform their recurring payments to the plan that they've applied to them. This setting does that. So the plan has been applied at either the student or the term level and the dates have been altered by the plan, then the student can choose to conform their recurring payments to those dates and amounts. There's another setting that controls whether or not this works. Let's go have a look at that. That's under financial up here at the top and then all the way over to the right on settings here and then into online payments. And then we're scrolling down and looking for the recurring payments option at the very bottom here. You can see that we can choose to disable this. We can have those simple monthly recurring payment options, or we can do plan only, or we can do both simple and plan. So you can choose one of the plan oriented options there to make this work. Has to include plan, obviously, whatever changes you make here, you wanna make sure that you hit save settings at the top of the page there. So we've covered how the financial team applies payment plans at the student or term level in another video, The Deep Mystery of Payment Plans, which you might wanna check out, but we'll show it briefly again here. Go to a student's profile, and then we'll go to financial, and then onto the dashboard there. This is at the student level, covering all invoices if we choose add a payment plan, and then we'll choose the payment plan, and then you'll get to see a preview and you can save that. And then that payment plan will be handling all of the student's invoices across all terms, so on. To apply it at the term level, let's go to buy term from financial there, check to make sure we've got the correct term. And then down here on the right, we can click add a payment plan, choose the correct plan and save. We're all set. Let's hop over and have a look at how 
these different options appear to those students or payers. So a student goes to their profile and then they go to financial and then they go over here to make a payment. They choose under the payment frequency field here to choose a payment plan. And then they have an option to choose that at a certain level. So all available charges right here, there's a payment plan option that comes up for them. It's the only option available there. And then down here, they can see a preview of when those charges will be due, what the amounts are, all that. If they then went on to submit this payment, they would be enrolling in a recurring payment plan that would work just along these dates here. Or let's say they don't wanna use the student level, they wanna use the term level. So then they would click here to select one of those terms. They'd select the term they wanna pay for it and then they would have an option. In this situation, the six month option comes up for them. They're able to choose that one. It's the only one currently available. They're able to see the same thing, those dates and amounts. And then if they were to pay this way, they would be signing up to use those recurring payments. Okay, so that covers those first two settings options. Let's see a situation where a plan has to be applied for a student to be able to select it for their recurring payments. So this student has a payment plan at the term level. They can actually go on their profile, financial by term here, make sure they've got the correct term selected. And then over here, they can see that payment plan that's covering their charges for that term. Then they click back to the dashboard, they go to make a payment, and we'll go down to payment frequency, select choose a payment plan. Then they'll select the term that already has that simple payment plan there, the existing plan, that will show them their dates and amounts for their charges. So then if they go ahead and put this payment through, they're going to be using these dates and amounts for their recurring payments going forward. And that is all she wrote, folks. Click that like button, subscribe, and ring the notifications bell if you haven't already. We have a couple other videos about payment plans that you might find interesting. You'll find those down in the description along with links to our social media. I've been Josh for Popular. You've been great. Thanks for watching.